Good morning, everybody. We just got ready. Oh my goodness. You can hear it all. Oh my goodness. They are feisty girls today. They're in their little stroller. They're just playing. Hi, babies. Stop barking. I think Squidward's getting on Maddie's nerves finally. <laughs> We've got a fun day of activities planned. I think we're going to head to the mall. We're going to get lunch. We're going to go out for a nice dinner. Maybe go to the spa. I don't know. It's going to be a good day. Um, but whatever we have to do, we have to include the puppies. So. Yeah, because we can't leave them in the room. Don't know if I'll be able sucks. to go to the spa with that. No, literally, they're like, you can't leave your dogs in the room. You can't Ha they can't have any accents, you can't do this. Like, there was like, I literally just had a contract for the dogs to be here. Like, there was so many rules about the freaking dogs. But I signed it, and we just have to make sure we take them everywhere them? with us. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to take them outside and go to the bathroom, and then, I don't know, we're hoping to be able to go to the spa and just leave them in the room, and just hopefully they don't bark, because if they bark, we get kicked out of the hotel. But I'm excited. Show them our beautiful view. Yeah. We asked for a view with the mountains. And she said, okay, I can get you in the 10th floor of the mountain view room. And this is what she gave us. And this is what we got. Tell me where you see the mountains, because I see a parking lot. That's all I see. I see the highway. I see the highway. You can even... This was definitely step up from the room they gave us before, because they gave us the second room, which was like right in the middle, so we literally had a view of like the roof. <laughs> on the second floor, like it was a horrible view. So we went down there, we're like, but now we're we get a new room. Floor. Now we're on the tenth floor, though. Love that for me. Let's get the. D oh, <laughs> oh <that's> <laughs> I just hit Mickey in the face with the vlog camera. I gotta go. I'm a whole mess. I love Greek salad. <laughs> <laughs> we are now at lunch. We've had a long day of shopping. By the way, so sorry because I didn't vlog at all, but we got some good shit. I'll definitely do a haul when we get home. Oh, Mickey's wearing his new shirt. That I got him. Thank you. Tea. It was a buy one get two free, so <laughs> I couldn't find anything, so he just picked that out. So I was like, I'll get this. But I would have gotten it for you anyway, even if it wasn't a buy one get two free. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. We're just now at lunch, and the puppies are being so good. Only one accident so far, which was Squidward's. Which are we surprised? No. No. They're just chilling. They're both really sleepy, so they're just laying down. They are being so well behaved, like I just said, and now they started acting up. Yes, you, Maddie. Jake, are there any of those, like, She's sticks? barking. Jake, any? Squidward, stop barking. Are there any of those like sticks you can give me to chew on? Yeah. I think Squidward's hogging the toy and pissing Maddie off. Maddie! Hey. Why is Maddie such a good girl? And she gets the short end of the stick. I'm sorry, I can't carry both of you and Squidward don't shut the fuck up. Oh my god, I was like, who's shit? But it's all the dry food. Oh my god, I have tea for everyone who's ready to listen. They are such little fucking brats. What? And we paid for them to be here. No, it's even just for one night, you have to pay it. Look at my battle scars for dealing with this baby. Do you see that? That's from her biting me. Animal control was called on our other two dogs, Bonnie and Clyde, because they were barking all day long. And one of our neighbors is apparently a night sleeper. She's a, a day sleeper? A day sleeper, because they're fucking weird. <laughs> and they called animal control on us. Sister. I literally can't even believe the last hour was real. Okay, so basically, animal control called. They said, hi, your dog is being too loud. So basically, we left Bonnie and Clyde at home because they're older, they don't have to be like watched as much. They can just go in the house and outside when they need to go to the bathroom and stuff. But apparently they were outside barking for two hours. So basically, what had happened- We have two dogs, Bonnie and Clyde. We'll insert a picture right here for them. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god, so now that I have like a moment to vlog, we just dropped off the puppies with my sister, and now we are at Chipotle. We're getting a little snack before we actually go to our like, our actual dinner later tonight, just because we're both hungry. But oh my god, guys, those dogs were a whole mess. I didn't think they'd be that bad, but the hotel had rules or whatever that we couldn't leave them alone in the room. And when we put them in their crates, they're really quiet, and they just will sleep. But we had to bring them everywhere we went, which was a lot, because we wanted to actually go out to dinner tonight and stuff. So that's why we had my sister come get them. But they were just so bad. Like, the last two hours we had them, they literally, like, would not stop barking, would not shut up, would... I don't know, they were just crazy. And then, like, I even tried to, like, go pick up Squidward, and she bit me. Like, they literally, like, I don't know what someone put in their water, but they just went berserk. And then our other dogs left at home, they're a lot older, so they can, like, kind of 
be more independent. Like they can just go out the dog door and like go outside and then we have like an unlimited food and water thing for them so they can just chill at home. Cause we're only gone like a day. And they went outside and they were barking nonstop apparently, which just doesn't sound like them. So animal control called. So we had to have our sister go stay over there because they had to watch the dogs. And I'm just gagged at how bad our dogs were today. They weren't good. Oh my God, and we got kicked out of the restaurant earlier today because of the dogs. I don't know, they've just been so bad and I can't believe how strict businesses are with dogs. Like, they're literally not doing anything. They're just chilling. But we're gonna enjoy this Chipotle. Mickey's gonna enjoy his Chipotle. And then we're gonna go to the Belting Pod. So we'll see you all then. Chipotle mukbang. So dessert is served. And it's almost gone. Mickey, you wanna tell them what happened? <laughs> Anyway, basically, so we're at the melting pot. And, oh my god, wait, the condensation, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Ew. Anyway, Mickey ordered dessert. I fucking hate bananas. And Mickey ordered the banana foster, and he's like, sorry, I didn't know there'd be any bananas in it. What do you mean you didn't know there'd be any bananas in it? They titled the fucking banana foster. And then, okay, I'm sorry. The on top of that, it's okay, but this is delicious. And then on, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that, they literally poured rum on top and lit it on fire. I don't drink alcohol or really eat anything with alcohol. Like I literally had them remade the fucking cheese because they did it with like a beer broth and I don't, I don't know. I'm seat. weird, I don't like alcohol. Yeah, you're a nerd. But <laughs> remember guys, this platter was fucking full. Just remember that. This platter was fucking full. <laughs> Bowl. But I ate all the fruit. I didn't eat like the. the oh, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you ate that fucking pound cake too. He eats so fucking much all by himself. This is for fucking three people. Like, this serves four people, I think. Eat it all. Are you nauseous? No, sometimes you just get like that. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know what's gonna be funny? <coughs> He'll be throwing up all night tonight. <laughs> and I'll be unbothered. We sure, we're sharing a bed. I'm gonna throw up all over you in bed. Oh, are you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna I'll force myself to throw up one of your <laughs> I'll get a second room then. <laughs> I sang this song in the sixth grading chorus. Hey, what? I practiced for months. Home, we sang this in sixth grading my chorus class. Y'all, the rum that was <laughs> fondue is hitting him. I actually am in such a good mood when like I can eat like just junk food. That's why I've gained so much weight. <laughs> no, like literally genuinely could be in a fucking horrible mood. Eats a whole thing of cheese fond or chocolate fondue. Probably at least 200 grams of sugar, to be honest. And now you're on top of the world. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, guys. So we had like so much cheese fondue left over and she told us we couldn't take it because it wouldn't like keep. But she said, <laughs> <laughs> she asked us if we wanted the to-go cup for the cheese fondue and Mickey's like, without even thinking, yes, yes, I want it to go. <laughs> Midnight snack for you, Mickey. I know. Or breakfast for tomorrow. For breakfast. <laughs> and lunch. <laughs> <laughs> He's not so giving me my phone back. Mickey. What? Come on. Give me my phone. Mickey. What? Can I have my phone? No. <laughs> So we're back at the hotel now and it's actually 1.30 in the freaking morning, but we are packing up all of our stuff because we are moving to a suite that we got a suite, baby. for a free upgrade because literally we went down there and we were like, oh, like- It's a trick. I told you the trick. Yeah. So basically, anyway, we originally wanted to come for one night and then we decided to make it two nights and then we decided to make it a third night. So we're going to stay again tomorrow night too. And she said, I don't have like a suite for tomorrow night, but I do one over tonight and since it's like 1 30 she's just like we'll give it to you for free but you have to check out by 11 so i was like we're gonna live like kings for perfect. a couple hours so we're gonna go up to a suite for the night and then we just have to check out again by 11 which should actually motivate motivate us to get out of bed before noon then we'll check out and then we have to come back down to another room but i think it's 10 out of 10 worth it because i'm excited for a nice hotel suite so <laughs> 1 30 time to pack everything up so we made it to our new bedroom which i was kind of thinking i was like it's 1 30 is it really worth packing up everything to like <laughs> go to a new room and bitch just you wait yes the hell it was it is a sweet oh my goodness we have a view that isn't just of the parking lot no we have the view it's not the view it is 
they view honey of the city i love that and then we have literally this whole space we have a little kitchenette this is literally what i want my guest bedrooms to all be like then we have our actual room which is cute and then we have the bathroom or this isn't even a bathroom this is just like another vanity but then we have another bathroom little <laughs> vanity thing with like an actual shower and everything and i'm happy about it what a really nice way to end our anniversary i know i'm excited to just sleep we really only have time to just sleep here because we have to check out tomorrow by 11 o'clock to go back to the normal room <laughs> but i mean like it was totally worth packing up all of our stuff and then unpacking it and then packing it up again for the and vlog unpacking it again just for the nice little room but it's it truly is sickening yeah. yes that's my new thing yeah all right so we're gonna head to bed and then wake up check out of this fucking hotel and then check back up into a normal room mickey already took off his shirt so i'm gonna end this part here <laughs> All right, Mickey, do you have any idea where we are? No. Guys, I told him, I said, I'm taking you somewhere. I'm surprising you. This is his anniversary present for me. We told each other we weren't getting anything, but obviously I have to be extra and get Mickey something. So, <laughs> we're here to surprise for you. Are you excited? Well, what is it? Do you have any idea what it could be? Let's go find out. All right, Mickey. It's, it's, no, you're going the wrong way. Oh. It's there. Colorado Home Fitness. What is it? Oh my god, go in and see. Bitch. She's like all confused. She's like, um, what is this? Do you know what this is? Is it gym equipment? Yeah, we're gonna Aww. do your gym in the house. You don't have to do that. Yes. I'm so excited. Aww, thanks. You have a thousand dollar budget. Don't go crazy. <laughs> Two minutes later, we already left the store because there wasn't one thing under five thousand dollars in that fucking store. <laughs> and it Mickey, was all stuff that like you don't really need. And it was nothing that Mickey was even really looking for. Yeah. And I mean, like their treadmills were like five grand. Their squat thanks rack. For the thanks for the thought. It's no, bitch. I'm still gonna do this for you, but we'll go to like Dicks or like other places where it's not five thousand dollars because those are like I guess really high end. You said we'll go to Dicks. <laughs> it's like, like a sporting dicks? store. But there's those are like Jake really loves dicks. Oh my god, shut up. They like, can't get enough of dicks. Oh my god. What is like literally five years old. We're still gonna do your gym. Dicks. Still gonna be a good time, but we're gonna have to do that. I say we go to Walmart. So expensive. You would wanna go to Walmart for your gym equipment. Anyway, I guess that surprise will be later because we'll go shopping <laughs> for it later. Yeah, no, you can get stuff at like Walmart and literally like Dick Sporting Goods, like you said. And it's just as good. Or significantly cheaper, yeah. Yeah. I don't even know why the why that like who's buying their shit from there. That's what I want to know. Five grand for a treadmill, like. Girl, I just get a gym membership, honestly. So it is our last night here, so we are going out <coughs> for a nice dinner. I literally had to drag Mickey's ass out of bed because he's just like, I want to sleep, but I'm like, girl, we are paying good money to be here. We got. I eat sleep for dinner. I was like, I'm starving, we're supposed to go to dinner. We just like got back from the pool, we we're supposed to like shower and then head straight to dinner, but he was taking a nap for about an hour. But now we are finally off to dinner. I'm so freaking hungry, so I'm so excited. And then I don't know what else we're gonna do tonight. I think we'll just come back and go to bed because Mickey's so tired. I was hoping to like go see a movie or something, but we'll see. Um, we can watch a movie here. Uh, uh, <laughs> Y'all, we are literally at the fucking top floor, and I hate elevators. Oh. I'm gonna film you for my exposing Mickey Nucci video when I want to end your career. We're at this restaurant, and it's so loud. We were gonna go to the nicer one that's at our hotel, but it closed at 10, and it's 10.30. So, I'm real happy Mickey slept in. Dinner is served. I'm literally the worst at vlogging because... Hello. We already ate all the food. Mickey had to go to the bathroom and now I'm left alone at the table somehow. All by myself. So I just thought I'd talk to all of you. Y'all, I hate being alone. Update, Mickey's still gone. Phone, officially dead. I don't know how I'm going to survive this, y'all. And I can't leave because we still have to pay. So, 
What? It's finally back. I almost died while you were gone. Why? My phone died. <laughs> and then I was just all by myself. <laughs> I'm tired though. It hit me like this. I'm like... Are you tired really quick? Yeah. Do you want to go to the fire pit after? I want to go to Dave & Buster's. No, let's go to the fire pit just for like 10 minutes, please. Then Dave & Buster's? If you want, you know. Yeah. We're at this really big fire pit. Right no by the pool around. over there, no one's around. I'm tired, I can't even think straight. Hi everyone, we're vloggers. Uh, this actually <laughs> is like such a better like, I should just branch my arm out a little bit more because this is such a vibe. It's actually like a vlog. Yeah, so we're at the fire pit now. It's so warm, so cozy. Just enjoying like our last night and this resort has been pretty good to us. Love that for us. I think we want to go to Dave and Buster's later tonight. At least I do. Nikki doesn't want to, but I'm going to drag him. Say you're coming with me just because I love video games and I'm the best ever at it and we actually have been wanting to go to Dave and Buster's since like we first met because Mickey was like I'm the best at video games I always win the big prizes <laughs> and I'm like okay so he can talk the talk but can he walk the walk except you're we'll not 18 see. and you can't go yeah the only thing adult. is you can't go with some adult unless you're 18 so I have to either blend in or see if they even let us in but if they don't let us in there's another arcade that will let us in so <laughs> Fuck you, Dave and Busters, if you don't let us in. Also, we'll expose you in this video, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I woke up so early today, and I'm so happy about it. We literally came back to the hotel room and just crashed out and just slept in this morning, and it was really nice and relaxing, and we're just getting our hotel room packed up, and then we're gonna head back up home. Not looking forward to that drive, but I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to see Squidward. I'm ready to see Maddie. I'm excited. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe to my channel. I would like to start doing like weekly vlogs every week in addition to my normal one-off YouTube video that I do every week. So let me know what you think about that. Do you guys enjoy these vlogs? Give it a thumbs up if you do, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.